Good morning and welcome to morning prayer at St. Martin's in the Field Episcopal Church for Friday, March 20th, 2020. Um, I am so glad you're here. Um, prayer can be such a wonderful way to center ourselves in times of anxiety. And so I pray that this time we share together uh, will be an anchor uh, in the peace of Christ and center us as we move forward through the days ahead. Our service of morning prayer begins on page 78 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 78 in the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our service continues on page 82 in the Book of Common Prayer, saying together, Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout with joy to the God of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 88. That's Psalm 88, found on page 712. Psalm 88, found on page 712. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. Let my prayer enter into your presence, incline your ear to my lamentation. For I am full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength, lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave whom you remember no more, for they are cut off from your land. You have laid me in the depths of the pit, in dark places and in the abyss. Your anger weighs heavily on me, and all your great waves overwhelm me. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me to be abhorred by them. I am in prison and cannot get free. My sight has failed me because of trouble. Lord, I have called upon you daily. I have stretched out my hands to you. Do you work wonders for the dead? Will those who have died stand upon and give you thanks? Will your loving kindness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the dark, or your righteousness in the country where all is forgotten? But as for me, O Lord, I cry to you for help. 
In the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why have you rejected me? Why have you hidden your face from me? Ever since my youth I have been wretched and at the point of death. I have borne your terrors with a troubled mind. Your blazing anger has swept over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me all day long like a flood and encompass me on every side. My friend and my neighbor you have put away from me, and darkness is my only companion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Joseph went in and told Pharaoh, my father and my brothers with their flocks and herds and all that they possess have come from the land of Canaan. They are now in the land of Goshen. And from among his brothers he took five men and presented them to Pharaoh. Pharaoh said to his brothers, What is your occupation? And they said to Pharaoh, Your servants are shepherds, as our fathers were. They said to Pharaoh, We have come to sojourn in your land. For there is no pasture for your servants' flocks, for the famine is severe in the land of Canaan. And now we pray you, let your servants dwell in the land of Goshen. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brothers in the best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Goshen. And if you know any able men among them, put them in charge of my cattle. Then Joseph brought in Jacob his father and set him before Pharaoh, and Jacob blessed Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Jacob, How many are the days and years of your life? And Jacob said to Pharaoh, The days and years of my sojourning are a hundred and thirty years. Few and evil have been the days of the years of my life, and they have not attained to the days of the years of the life of my fathers and the days of their sojourning. And Jacob blessed Pharaoh, and went out from the presence of Pharaoh. Then Joseph settled his father and brothers, and gave them a possession in the land of Egypt, in the best of the land, in the land of Ramses, as Pharaoh had commanded. And Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with food according to the number of their dependents. Now there was no food in all the land, for the famine was very severe so that the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan languished by reason of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan for the grain which they bought. And Joseph put the money into Pharaoh's house. And when the money was all spent in the land of Egypt and the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, Give us food. Why should we die before your eyes? For our money is gone. And Joseph answered, Give your cattle, and I will give you food in exchange for your cattle, if your money is gone. So they brought their cattle to Joseph. And Joseph gave them food in exchange for the horses, the flocks, the herds, and the donkeys. And he supplied them with food in exchange for all their cattle that year. And when that year was ended, they came to him the following year and said to him, We will not hide from my Lord that our money is all spent. And the herds of the cattle are my lord's. There is nothing left in the sight of my lord but our bodies and our lands. Why should we die before your eyes, both we and our land? Buy us and our land for food, and we with our land will be slaves to Pharaoh, and give us seed that we may live and not die, and that the land may not be desolate. So Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For all the Egyptians sold their fields because the famine was severe upon them. The land became Pharaoh's, and as for the people, he made slaves of them from one end of Egypt to the other. Only the land of the priests he did not buy, for the priests had a fixed allowance from Pharaoh, and lived on the allowance which Pharaoh gave them. Therefore they did not sell their land. Then Joseph said to the people, Behold, I have this day bought you and your land for Pharaoh. 
Now here is seed for you, and you shall sow the land. And at the harvest you shall give a fifth to Pharaoh, and four fifths shall be your own as seed for the field, as food for yourselves and your households, and as food for your little ones. And they said, You have saved our lives. May it please my Lord, we will be slaves to Pharaoh. So Joseph made it a statute concerning the land of Egypt, and it stands to this day that Pharaoh should have a fifth of the land of the priests alone did not become Pharaoh's. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll continue with the song of penitence. It's found on page 90 in the Book of Common Prayer. The song of penitence on page 90. O Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens of the earth with all their vast array. All things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power. But your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all our minds can fathom. O Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners, that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O Lord, I bend the knee of my heart and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you shall show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, in accordance with your great mercy. And I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises, and yours is the glory to ages of ages. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. When evening came, the boat was out on the sea. And Jesus was alone on the land. And he saw that they were making headway painfully, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. He meant to pass them by, but they saw him walking on the sea, and they thought that it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, take heart. It is I, have no fear. And he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased. And they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. And when they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret, and moored at the shore. And when they got out of the boat, immediately people recognized him, and ran about the whole neighborhood, and began to bring sick people on their pallets to any place where they heard he was. And wherever he came in villages, cities, or country, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and besought him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment. And as many as touched it were made well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continue on page 93 in the Book of Common Prayer with a song to the Lamb. Page 93, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. 
And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. Continue with the Apostles' Creed found on page 96. The Apostles' Creed on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under our care, your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities that may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of his saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. O oh God, I pray for all those impacted in any way by the coronavirus. I pray for those who are sick, those who are anxious, those who are afraid, those who are worried. 
those who are feeling the economic impact. I pray, O oh God, that you will bring healing and wholeness and stillness and peace. I pray for our leaders and government officials. I pray for our healthcare workers. I pray for all those who need to go out and work to support all those who are staying at home to protect those who are most vulnerable. I give thanks for the St. Martin's Parish community. I give thanks for everyone in the congregation and for its members. And I give thanks for that day that will surely someday come when we can be together physically again, present in worship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continue with the general thanksgiving on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with your lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.